Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. This is an adult channel and all the videos are made for adults and not intended for children. Um, this is part two of First Impressions uh, Black Widow Monarchs. So as you can see we've got the tin here. Um, in the first episode we swatched all the colours and had a look at them and saw what we thought of them and the names. And now we're going to start colouring a picture. Now we chose, well I chose, a picture from the Fairies and Friends Colouring Heaven Special. This is one of their older ones, this is issue 38, but I haven't coloured in it yet. Um, and I've coloured, uh, coloured, I've picked out the, where is she? That's a nice one. They're all nice actually. The Oak Fairy, which is this one. So I'm just going to pop it there. Uh, so we're going to start, uh, we're just going to try and colour using the Monarchs. I have actually put them into a pencil case. The pencil case I've got is one of these. It's a very big one. It holds 160. I've got one of these uh, for my Prisma colours as well. And as you can see, I've got all of them in. As you can see, some of these are quite short. All the skin tones. I haven't got them in colour groups yet. They're just in the orders they were in the tin. However, Colour with Claire has done a, a swatch chart in colour group. So I will be downloading that and then swatching them in colour group and putting them into the order that she's got on her chart in the case. So that's going to be a big job. I'll probably try and do that on the weekend. So the Monarchs start uh, here. Uh, yeah, here. And they go across those two. So they're there. I have got my colour chart with me as well. And so we're going to see if we can colour the entire picture just using the Monarchs. If we can't, if we want something else, we will um, grab one of the others. So it might be that we want some red and there's no red in there. Although there's that lovely rust red or rusty colour. It's more of a brownie red. I quite like that. So we're going to start with skin, her skin, and we're going to use cream and uh, peach, I think it was cream and peach yeah they're quite nice colors there's also milk is a nice one candy is a nice color mushroom is a nice color so i'm just going to put a nice point on them and see how well they sharpen so let's have a look sharpen well no breaking which is always good and um, we're just going to give her a light going over with this cream first. And what I'll probably do is come up with a combination I like using a mixture of the Monarchs, the skin tones and the rest of the, the sets as well. So as you can see it's still going down very nicely, it's very light colour. I think for something like this it probably will be easy to do just using the one set of pencils to be honest. If it was a different picture then I would probably probably need some others. Let's just have a look at this. We'll just do her hands as well. Not a lot of skin on this one so that's great. That's, it's a funny cream colour to be honest, it's not a, a what I would call a, a good cream, it, it's not a cream, it's quite a yellowy cream but it's nice. So we're just going to go over that with a peach just to give her a bit of colour. We've certainly got plenty of pinks, like fudge is a nice colour, you know, mushroom is a decent colour, light pink, pink is lovely. Um, so let's just, we're just going to just give her a bit of... 
peachy colour. And it may be that these don't work very well as skin tones at the moment, I'm not sure. But I think they'll complement the skin tone set. So it looks a bit yellow, but it's all right. It's not bad. I'll just do her hands if I can get to them. Hang on, there we go. Hands. But they are nice colours. And they will, the entire set will definitely complement it. So I'm actually going to go for... I think light pink actually. I'm going to start putting a bit of pink on it now to take the yellow out hopefully. They sharpen nicely, there's no problem with sharpening them and I just use a basic Stedlitter sharpener. Uh, I ordered a ton of them a while back and I'm still using them. So I know they're cheap enough but they do what they're meant to. That's a bit better. I think maybe I wouldn't use the cream next time. I might just go straight to the peach. Excuse the sound of the... Getting it nice, nice warmer colour. So all I wanted to see was if could you just colour a picture with just this set or do you need the others? I think uh, if you wanted reds you would need the other sets because there are, is no red on here. I'm going to have a mushroom now. There is no red at all. Like I said the nearest red is uh, Rusty which is a reddy brown. I mean it's a lovely colour don't get me wrong I think it's gorgeous. So this is the mushroom one and we're just going to do a bit under there. I quite like the mushroom colour for a bit of skin. It's looking better, yeah. Like I said, I do like these colours. I think the colours are just stunning. Yeah, that looks all right. And we'll just put a little bit of definition on our hands like this. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm quite happy with the way the skin's looking, to be fair. I, I didn't think it was going to look as good as it does. It's it's quite nice. It's looking good. There we go. So, yeah, she, her skin's okay. Yeah, It's not the, the best I've done, but it's not too bad. It, the the colours do seem to, to work all right. That's not, not a problem. I'm actually going to use the rusty red on her lips. Well, the rusty colour, it's called rusty. I just think it's a lovely colour, but I really think it's nice. Yeah. Like so. 
lovely. Now, fortunately with the monarchs, there are a lot, a lot of greens. So doing something like this one, which is um, the Oak Fairy, it should be quite good. It should be quite easy. Um, there's not a huge amount of browns. The only real brown is mushroom and there's a deep one called mahogany. So we'll use the mahogany one on the branches. And yeah, it's just a matter of having a fiddle around with it and seeing what we can come up with and having a look at the different colours today. And I might even use this and the rusty red on her hair. That'll be quite nice. So we're going to do the this branch here. You can't see it. Let me just pull it up. There we are. So we're just going to gently colour in this area. These pencils are smooth as silk. They really are stunning. There's definitely no um, scratchiness or anything like that. They're just so comfortable to use. You know, I mean, at the moment, we all love prism colours, not going to lie, we all love them. Those of us that have them, I love mine. And if I had the money, I would buy another set. Because um, I, I am using mine, I'm getting low. I've bought a couple of odd open stock ones to replace the ones I use the most, but I can't afford to buy a complete set. They're just far too expensive. And I enjoy using these ones, so until I can get the um, Prisma colours at a lower cost, I'll just keep replacing these as I use them because they're so cheap. are so so cheap I mean they're not cheap in the sense of something like Crayola which are really cheap but they are a reasonable price so we're going to do um, some green obviously I'm gonna do a dress green as well and it'll probably be the um, sapphire which is a very bright green um, with some hints of leaf green on it just to tone it down. Um, I think I'll use the apple and the leaf on the yeah. I just gotta find them. So I'm looking for 47. There's 47. So I'm just going to start colouring in these leaves. I'm just going to do the one for now. I mean, that, look how beautiful these colours are. They are just stunning. I really love these. I am really in love with these pencils. I've got to be honest, they are they are my favourites. I'm not going to lie, these are definitely my favourite pencils. So we're just going to do this one leaf. And we'll get out the leaf green. That was easy to find because it's the darkest one in the set. Um, but I didn't want it being too dark on my leaf. I wanted to have it because they're not always that dark. So I'll just put some dark on it as well. I haven't planned any of these colours. I am just literally pulling them out and making a decision on them as I colour. And that's how I colour. I don't... Other than saying, right, I've got an idea of what colours I want to use, I don't actually pick the exact colours. You know, sometimes you have an, a vague idea of what you want something to look like. And then other times you just don't and you just go and colour it. 
and uh, most of the time that's what I do. That looks nice. They blend in nicely together. I do love colouring. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't do so much of it, but... Okay, that looks really nice. I love the way this leaf is looking. And this is how I will do all my leaves on here. We'll just get a bit more in. Oh, I'm going to enjoy colouring this picture with these. I really am. It's not such a complicated picture that it's going to take forever either. It won't take too long. Sometimes it takes me weeks to make one video on, on this sort of thing because the pictures are quite detailed. And I might do the majority of the filming, go away to do the, the rest of the colouring and then just not. So I'm actually going to turn this pencil around the other way so I know I'm using it for there. I'll turn that one as well. Now, um, Sapphire, I want for her dress, 85. 85, that's right next to dark, uh, to the leaf green for it. I just think this is a beautiful colour. So, the majority of her dress will be in this. And then we'll put a bit of leaf green on it to, to darken it out, so. I don't know how, yeah, that's fine. Just put that there. So we're just going to colour it all in for now, and then there'll be certain areas where it's a bit darker, and then. Oh, this looks nice. So the whole of her front bodice. The darker green, I think. I don't know. No, I think I'll do all this green and then we'll... Uh, I'll make a decision on that later. I'll just do this side of her, her dress. Now, it looks very bright. It looks a lot brighter than it is. It is a bright colour. This colour is gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Let's mm. pull this up a bit so we can see what we're doing. Turn the pencil slightly so we've got the sharp edge. Oh. I mean, I don't get me wrong, I love all my pencils, I, I mean, but these are just amazing colours. I, I love them, and I like the names of them as well, they always give them really, really nice names. So, I know a lot of people don't think that this is Sapphire, but apparently this was part of, some of these names were a bit of a joke by the team. So where they said the medium grey and dark grey are the wrong way round, it's just the way they did it. They did it as a bit of a joke. It was deliberate. So again, the same with Cat's Eye and Sapphire Green it would be the same sort of thing, I would imagine. So let's get out our, our leaf green now just to... A bit of darkness in it and just give it a bit of definition. I really love these greens, I'm not gonna lie, these greens are absolutely st 
stunning. So don't be afraid of mixing two completely opposite um, shades. So this was a very bright green and a very dark green. But I think it's going to look nice. I'm actually going to do the whole interior of her sleeve over in that. Like that. Sorry if it's half off the page. I'm not doing very well with this filming today, am I? Just like that, a bit, a bit there and there. Sometimes it's like that though. It's probably because I've got it slightly off a, a wrong angle. Okay, and then, oh, I'm, I'm losing all my bits <laughs> out of me. I think I'm actually going to fold the book over and that might make it a bit easier for me. Right, I'm going to go back over this green now and see how it blends. So we're just putting another layer of the uh, sapphire green over the top. Looks nice. I love this green. I think this is my favourite green. <laughs> my favourite green ever. It's just a stunning colour. also gives it that, that earthy colour that like she's obviously is an oak fairy so given her some darker bits on her dress it does make her look more of the the earth more of the, the forest so I quite like that and I'm glad there's a huge selection of greens to be honest because um, I've got her wings to do yet And obviously they're going to be green. There you go. It's nice. It's a lovely colour. You do need a bit more down here though. Now I'll always admit I'm not the best colourist. I just colour how I colour and I pick up little hints and tips and sometimes I use them and sometimes I don't. But I really do like these pencils. I love the way they feel. I love the way they colour. Like I said, I wish there were more reds in the overall set because red is my favourite colour. 
but there are some lovely reds in the other set so you can always if you I mean you wanted a red I would say if you wanted to get the monarchs get this along with the black widows because there's a lovely red in that and I'd say that's the only thing missing out of here is a red although you have got rusty who's a sort of a ready colour Uh, dress so that's going to be nice I mean I haven't finished it and there's a lot to go but I quite like the colours that I've used there uh, that one goes there and I'll take that one in as well next I'll do a bit of her hair and I am going to use the rusty red and the mahogany on this one um, I just think her hair would look nice with the rusty red but I'm going to put some mahogany on as well so I'm keeping it to a minimum really as much as I can with the amount of pencils that I'll be using but I'll be using what I need to from the set I mean I'm not going to use every single colour in the set on this particular picture but we will be using mostly the greens there are a lot of greens which I think is fantastic because I always find that when you've got things like, for instance, the Johanna Basford books, there are so many leaves and green sections to complete in those books that it is so difficult to find different greens. And then suddenly you get a set of pencils, the Monarchs, which have got how many different greens? If you can confuse, if you include Passion, which is a yellowy green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, I see 13 greens. That's a lot of green, which is fantastic. So we're going to go in now with the rest rust over the top. Rusty red, rusty colour. This is oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love this colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now I will probably just do a sky background um, of blue, which I will do um, when I go off to finish this, which will be shortly. It won't be quite yet because I'm going to just start doing her wings as well. that's her hair done so I know that's the colours I'm using for that but I'll still put it in the wrong way around in the case because it makes it easier so I'm going to again do her wings with some of the greens but I'm going to go for the very light green so sort of like poison washed green antler colours so um, let's find those so that's iceberg no. no washed green poison and antler are three together so they're just lighter colours. Now my camera's going to stop in a minute so let me just pick the darkest of those three. The darkest is... Hmm. right we'll do use poison first. Give it a little sharp and I do like a good point on mine. So we're just about to wait for the camera to click over and then we're going to use poison which is a nice colour and we're back and I'm just going to go over her entire wing well I'm just going to do two sections of her wing for now in this very light green 
So we're just going to do that bit, those two sections. Because I don't want this video to be like three hours long. It's already 30 minutes. Actually, we'll go down one more just so that we've got plenty of workspace. So we can see the basic layer. It's very, very pale, as you can see, but it's a very nice colour. We'll put that one in the other way, and then we'll use the washed. The washed is slightly darker, but it's not the. It's um, uh, uh, I don't know. So we're just gonna go around the edges a bit. I'm gonna colour in most of the middle section over the top of the the poison with the washed. Like so. Let's go around the edge there a little bit and there. But we're really going to do the work with the antler. I want her, her wings to be a lot lighter than the rest of the leaves and the pictures. So the antler is sort of a I don't know, I don't know how to describe it really. A darker colour, but it, mm, it's not, it's a sort of more of a browny green, which I think would be good. But this. So you won't see much on it because it is very, very, these are very, very light colours, but they are very nice. I have done a whole bit just there, just in that one colour, just to break it up a little bit. That one, and we go back to poison. I do like a sharp point on my pencils. That's the only thing. Okay, let's just have a quick look at this. There we go. nice. So I'm, I really do like these pencils. I think they are absolutely stunning and I will be I think taking these ones on holiday with me when I go. I took them to Tenerife last year and I coloured three and a half pictures while I was on holiday. So I will definitely be taking them again this year but we're not going to Tenerife though. We're going to, just to Weymouth as long as there isn't another lockdown. And if there is, I'll be still having a week off and I'll still be colouring loads in the evenings. Okay, so that's her wings. And the only thing I haven't done are the acorns themselves. Um, what colour is that? Bronze, green bronze. Light bronze. Oh, it's very bronze, isn't it? Green tea, I think. Green tea. I'm going to use and then so I'm just going to do a little bit of light green tea on this I think that's about the best colour for those Nice colour. And then for the bottom, hmm, I'm going to use Fawn, which is the very first one that was in my tin. See what this looks like. Yeah, that's a good colour. Like there we go. I'm liking this. 
So yes, you could colour a whole picture with just these, as long as you don't want a red, a real red, you'd be alright. There we go. Now that's that bit done, I'll just pop that back in. There are some other lovely colours we haven't used on this picture. So this is how much we've done today, tonight. I am going to go away and finish this picture off. Um, using the colours we've done and then I'll come back and show you how it completely looks. We'll have a good look at it properly. All the pencils used will be from the Monarch set so the background will be done with blues from the Monarch. Um, obviously all her hair, everything will be done with the Monarch set. I really like them, I do recommend them at this point. Um, I can honestly say that I will be using them a lot. So um, I'll be back in a little while, you'll see it like that, with the finished picture. So I have actually, oops, there's a spare tag in there, I don't know why, I'll take that out, finished the picture using just the Monarchs, um, which was in Fairies and Friends Special. So if you're in the Colour in Heaven group, you'll have seen it. And here it is. So this has been coloured just using the Black Widow Monarchs. The background is just the sky. Um, the colour sky S K Y E. So, and I really enjoyed just using the monarchs on that one picture. So, to wrap up, what do I think of the monarchs? Well, I really love them. They, they're a great set of lighter colours. Um, we're used to the black widows being very vibrant and very bright, very you know, dominant colours, and they are. And they're great. These would it just sort of fills in the gaps of where we haven't got. Um, certain colours. Putting some of these colours with the skin tones is going to be fantastic for colouring skin. Um, the amount of greens is going to be great for colouring in things like Magical Jungle and Secret Garden and all those Johanna Basswood ones that use lots of plants and flowers and things like that. Uh, and World of Flowers of course. So it's, it, they're going to be great. Um, I do recommend them. If you've only got to one set of Black Widows, I would say get them. They're not going to hurt, they're going to help. If you've got the, the, the Widow set, get these because at least you can do skin tones then. Um, you'd be struggling with just the Black Widow set. So I will be keeping my Black Widow collection topped up. Um, you can order the pencils open stock if you email Albert, but they do have to send them from Australia, so they do take a while to come. And I just think for myself, I'm too impatient to wait at the way I go through pencils. So what I'm doing is I am buying a new set of each pencil every now and again. So for instance, I've already got a new set of Widows and a new set of Scorpion. So in August, I might, August, in September, um, if I've got some spare money, I'll order another set of Cobra, then skin tones, then the other skin tones, and then finally another set of Monix. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do recommend these pencils. I will leave a link to Amazon UK and US down below. If you've already got the other Widows, you might as well get them. And if you're thinking of getting some different pencils um, and you want to upgrade from, say, Crayola or one of the budget to brands, definitely go for Black Widows. They're fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of them. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.